young to try. I tried it one way, now I'll try it another, and it's not too late, and I will soon discover the answer. Looking for some answer, oh, some answer. Looking for some answer. Another diagnostic tool that we use to evaluate patients. It's what the people see in a picture like this that's important. Now, would anyone care to give it a try? Linda. Well, I see a girl who rushed Tridell who didn't make it. When she told her boyfriend in the bedroom back there, he killed himself. <laughs> she probably would have made it if she hadn't worn that icky skirt. <laughs> okay, can anybody top that? <laughs> Matthew, how about you? No, I don't believe in those things at all. Oh, come on, Matthew. Go ahead. Give it a try. All right, Miss Adler, but I still don't believe in these things. Okay. Well, uh, there are two people there, and they're together in the same house. Um, they're upset about something. Probably because... Well, who knows? Probably because they're disappointed in their son. And their son who never ever did anything they wanted him to do and never lived up to any of their expectations. <laughs> See, I told you there was nothing to it. Thank you very much. Uh, would anybody else care to... Mr. Chase, great. Two people. <laughs> uh, they just come back from their honeymoon. She made uh, their first meal, uh, linguine and clam sauce. It didn't come out too good. He's lying there thinking of his mother's sauce. And she's standing there thinking of her first boyfriend. Actually, that was really very good. As you can see, there's no real right or wrong answer here. It's just how a person feels when they look at the picture. But they got it all wrong. Sheldon, you have something to contribute? Well, it's obvious. This is a guy and a girl, and she's very sexy and passionate and lusty, and he just can't fulfill her desires. So, she's on her way to my house. <laughs> What's that slime you're putting on your head? Loose. What's it for? Gives your hair more body. It makes it look thicker. Let me try that. Tonight, maybe. So, hey, hey, you guys going to the movies? Uh, maybe we'll join you. Oh, we'd love for you to come, but uh, you can't. <laughs> I hate that. It's okay, no big deal. Nate, do you know what it took for me to ask them? I hate being rejected. I know, but you'll get used to it. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Nick, girls reject me all the time, and now guys are starting to do it. Nick, there's not much left. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take, but uh, we're going to become part of this place. I'm on the outside looking in. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. Nick, they're playing our song. Hey, Carl. 
Yeah. Listen, we were thinking of going to the movie tonight. You yeah. want to come? Oh, I can't do it, guys. I'm going away for the weekend. Where are you going? Wounded knee. <laughs> Why? I want to empathize with the Native American. I share the Indian experience. Why don't you just stay here and we'll steal your furniture? <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. I got 200 years of treachery to atone for. <laughs> want to give it a try? <laughs> hey, guys, how you doing? Hey. hey, we heard you guys talking and we thought we'd join your bull session. I love that word, bull session. <laughs> Nick, this is our first college bull session. <laughs> well, okay, take it, Nick. Do you guys mind if we join you? No, no, okay. sit down. Thanks. So, uh, what are you guys talking about? What do you think they're talking about? Women. All women or just specific parts? All women. We're talking about the best way to meet someone. Nick, you've been a Marine. You've been all over the world. What do you say when you first walk up to a woman? Hi, how do you do? Uh, my name is Nick. <laughs> you do what you do and you hope they see something nice inside. That's all. Women. Women. <laughs> okay, jump in any time now, guys. So... You date a lot of chicks? Yeah, yeah. But they always want to go out with dumb jocks. I'm on the football team. Soccer team. Baseball. Lacrosse. Or jocks that aren't dumb. What was your sport, Nick? Go ahead. Tell him. He used to be a boxer. Really? Yeah. I fought pro for a little bit. Yeah? How'd you do? Were you any good? People said I, I reminded them of Rocky Marciano. We both like Squangeli. <laughs> So, uh, Matthew, you into sports? Yeah, yeah, a lot. Which ones? Well, all of them, at the same time. What's your favorite? Well, y you like what you're good at, so I like everything. <laughs> yeah, but what's your main sport, specifically? Specifically? Well, there's swimming, uh, long-distance running, and, of course, the biathlon. <laughs> biathlon? What's that? Oh, come on, guys. Don't tell me that you've never watched a Winter Olympics. The biathlon? Come on, it's where you ski and shoot. It's a blood sport. Right up my alley. Oh, yeah, so uh, what kind of skis do you use? Uh, the ones where the tips go up. Yeah, but what kind? The long ones. Yeah, but what's the brand? Hey, you guys get off my back. Okay, you guys want to hear the truth? Okay, when I was nine years old, I played baseball with my father, and he hit a line drive into my nose, and then I never played anything again. You guys happy now? You stupid moron bozo jocks. Well, we're really settling in here. <laughs> I really blew it in front of those guys, didn't I? No, no. You were honest, you were you. We'll make other friends. I never liked sports anyway. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I have my studies. And I have my fish. It's a full life. I understand, kid. You think I'm a real wussy, don't you? I'm not thinking nothing. I'm just gonna hit the rack, that's all. Well, I, I wanted to be an athlete. I mean, I would have loved to play ball with my dad once in a while. I'm just not coordinated. How do you know? Because there's some things you just know. You give up too easy. That's what I know. You got to figure a sport that you're good at. Come on, face it, Nick. I wasn't meant to be physical. It's like with the fish. Some of them are out there playing, and some of them are spectators. Oh, come on. There's no fish that's aggressive and uh, sort of condensed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the dusky damsel. Anything with a better name? No, that's it. They're small, but if their nest is threatened, they attack with the ferocity of the barracuda. Well, there you go, that's you. No, I think I'm more of a kissing garami. What? Hey, you could be a dusky damsel if you just push yourself a little bit. What about hockey? Can't skate. That would be a drawback. <laughs> How about boxing? Are you kidding? No, no, you fight guys your own weight. So you be boxing other runts. 
other people. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna check your reflexes. Okay, now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you in the nose. I'm gonna punch you in the nose. I'm gonna punch you in the nose. So how am I doing? <laughs> Pretty good, but maybe we should get a backup sport in case you kill somebody in the ring. Face it, Mick. There's just nothing for me. Come on. Okay. Wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah. Isn't that where they twist you up and uh, give you atomic spine crushers and tweak your nose? No, not in college wrestling. You look like you'd be agile, like you'd be quick. Yeah, when I'm afraid, I'm quick. It's up to you. There's no hurry about the decision. Whatever you say. Look at you. You move like a cat. You get me? Get your head in tight. Excuse me? What is it? Well, I know that this might seem a little funny to you, but I was thinking about joining... Ah. Twist that arm, there's a lot more gift there. But it's not that important. So, you want to join the wrestling team? Well, it's either between the wrestling team or the stamp club. What's your name? Ah! Matthew Wiggins. Hey, who said a knee can only go one way? Ah! You ever done any wrestling? Absolutely not. That's okay, I'm looking for someone about your size. How much you weigh exactly? How much you need. Why are you asking that? Because I'm afraid you'll break off what you can't use. <laughs> This could be great for both of us. You might be just the person I'm looking for. Come on, how much you weigh? 110 pounds. That's perfect. 180. <laughs> hey, guy. Fresh meat. Matthew. Rise and shine, Matthew. What? Time to get up, kid. Nick, you just broke up the only date I had all week. <laughs> what time is it? Five o'clock. Are you crazy? Oh, it's time to train and to, to get your juices going. You think I like this? I had to get up every morning like this when I was a drill instructor. I hate it. I'm going back to bed. You just witnessed the secret of being a good drill sergeant. <laughs> Never trust yourself. <laughs> now, come on, kid. We gotta get ready for your wrestler match. Nick, I think that's against the rules. <laughs> no, no. We're gonna swing this around and tone your body up. Nick, I already have a coach. He's gonna teach you the moves, kid. <clears throat> Me, I'm gonna get you in shape. We're gonna do sit-ups, leg raises, sprints, leg... <laughs> Myself. It was like you spoke right to my muscles. It's time to sweat blood, kid. You had to say that. What are you doing now? I'm gonna call my father. At this time? Yeah, I want to get to him before the stock market opens. Dad, hi. Well, uh, no, no, everything's okay, really. Dad, listen. Yeah, school's great, my fish are good. Dad, I got to tell you, I'm on the wrestling team. No, Dad, I'm not the manager. I'm a wrestler. Yeah, and I was wondering if you might be able to come down and watch me sometime. Great. Thanks, Dad. Let's go sweat some blood.
This is it. Yeah. 300 people are waiting to see you wrestle. Nick? Yeah. I'm not going. What? Nick, I'm not a wrestler. I'm a lover. <laughs> well, maybe I'm a lover. Well, at least I want a chance to find out if I'm a lover. You're just nervous, kid. Nick, I'm blaming this whole thing on you and that dumb sledgehammer of yours. Nick, tell me something. What kind of grown man goes around carrying a sledgehammer in the trunk of his car? I know what you're going through, kid. Nick, you have no idea what I'm going through. You know something? I've discovered something about myself. I've discovered I'm scared. An old trainer of mine, you know what he used to say? Everybody's afraid. Everybody. Both the coward and the hero are feeling the same fear. But it's what you do with the fear that counts. I'm taking my fear to Hawaii. <laughs> what about your pop? What about him? He's going to be out there. Don't you want him to be proud of you? Yeah, he's really going to be proud of me. You're going to try, kid. Oh, Nick, come on. I've always tried. Nick, I remember when I was a little kid, my dad always wanted this big, tall athlete for a son. Nick, you know what I did? I went to the store and I bought this chaining bar. And every day for 45 minutes, I hung by that chaining bar, bought my heels. I thought I might grow an inch. Nick, my father thought he was raising a bat. <laughs> That's then, okay? Now's now. We better go. Okay, Nick, I'm going. But Nick, if anything happens to me, don't you dare eat my fish. <laughs> Roomies will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, wrestling for Dearborn Tech, Terry Gallagher. For Saginaw, Johnny Newton. Ready? Wrestle! How you doing? Great. I was like the hyperventilate about 10 in the morning. Wait, you're up next. Break a leg. He's an inspiration to all of us. Have you seen my father? No, I don't know what he looks like. Well, he sort of looks like someone who just got out of a limousine. Hey, there he is. Yeah, he looks kind of nervous. Yeah, I guess he just doesn't want to rub up against anyone. cheering for you just like that. You're going to be really popular. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, you are. These things have a way of snowball. First you win the match, but then you become president of your class, and before you know it, you're the governor of Montana dating Deborah Winger. And now for our next match in the 110-pound class, from Saginaw, Matthew, the dusky damsel, Wigan. Dusky damsel? Nick, what'd you do? I figured you needed some glamour. Nick, I sound like a fish with a corsage. Go get him, Dusky. And from Dearborn Tech, Gene Stockton. We should be dancing. <laughs> you know something? You look a lot prettier if you smile. Please smile. <laughs> hey, this is some kind of social statement. Nick, the sledgehammer, quick! <laughs> well, you know, you should smell good. <laughs> Silly. Come on, let's just forget the whole thing.
Hey, you lost. And you lost to a girl. Ooh, that's tough. How you doing, kid? I guess it's over between me and Deborah Winger, huh? Hello, Matthew? Dad. Hi, Dad. I know what you're thinking right now. You think that was a girl. You're wrong, Dad. That wasn't a girl. That was a guy dressed up as a girl. Matthew, it was a girl. Yeah, Dad, it was a girl. But, Dad, I think she was on steroids. I could have taken her on a cigar. Well, maybe you'd do better the next time, huh? Right. What I mean, Matthew, is it really wasn't that bad. Thanks, Dad. Dad, I want you to meet my roommate, Nick. Nick's dad. Dad's Nick. How you doing? Hi. And Matthew's told me all about you. So, uh, how do you like living with all of Matthew's fish? Not bad. The sound of the bubbles helped me sleep. Nick helped me train. <laughs> well, he did a fine job. <laughs> and you know, they're making women tougher and stronger nowadays. You know, you should see some of the ones I dated. <laughs> Look, you two got a lot to catch up with, probably. Let me get out of your way. No, no, listen, uh, I'd love to stay around, but I've got a plane to catch. But Matthew, I'll get back here as soon as I can. Great. Matthew, you keep up the good work, okay? Thanks, Dad. Hey, he really looked proud of you. Come on, Nick, I know what's going on. No, no, I was watching him. He was getting into this stuff. You think? Absolutely. He's just not the type to slobber all over you. Yeah, come on. He could have at least ate for a pizza or something. Pizza? That's a great idea, buddy. I'm hungry. Me too. Let's get going. Right. And then uh, maybe you can wrestle the waitress for some extra pepperoni. 